Now that I have the base graphic taken care of, the next step is to actually layer data on top of it. For this, I'll need vMix Title Designer. Uh, the newer versions of vMix come with a more modern, updated version of this program called vMix GT Title Designer. Either will work just fine for our purposes. So what I've done here is I've taken text boxes and dropped them over that base graphic that I originally had. Um, the data that I've typed into them is purely placeholder data to make sure that it fits and I've chosen an appropriate font and size. This will be replaced by real live data that's coming from the live XML program when we actually do this for real. Uh, a couple of items of note here. These items right here, this is a font I downloaded for free called GoGo -Go Sports. And there are characters on the keyboard you can type that will turn into various symbols for sports. One's a volleyball, one's a basketball. Uh, there's all kinds of items in there. So I use this for my possession indicator. I chose this over arrows because it may not necessarily always be, depending on the orientation of the screen, that the arrows will actually face the direction that the ball is traveling. And using a symbol avoids that issue. Also, we have placeholders for those logos, and again, we'll drop those in using vMix when the time is right. The other thing that I'll point out is each of these data elements that I've placed into the title, I've been very careful about the name that I choose for them. This one you'll see is called vPlayer1. This was called vPlayer1 underscore special. vPlayer1 points, vPlayer1 fouls. Clock, vScore v fouls v pos underscore special the reason i chose these names specifically is because those are the exact names that come over through the xml data from sportscast now you don't have to name them that way you can use any name that you like but if you use the exact name of the title of the field that comes over from live XML, you can save yourself a lot of time because then you can auto map everything in vMix. There's an option where you can choose to automatically map each data element to its corresponding field by looking for an element with the same name. And that's much faster than choosing every single one of them by hand because as you'll notice, there are a couple dozen different data elements on this screen. So it's very busy.